Are you struggling to survive in Salmon Run? Is Maz a hard boss for you to defeat? Or maybe you just want some more pointers on how to beat her. Let's go over how you can easily avoid and defeat Maz. Personally, she's one of my favorite bosses, but for beginner Salmon Run players, the concept of a sneaky boss that chases you down no matter where you're going can be kind of terrifying. Maz is one of the returning bosses from Splatoon 2 Salmon Run. For those of you who are new to the game, one of my favorite methods to avoid Maz is to sit completely still. This might be terrifying as Maz can easily one-shot you, but you've gotta trust me. Maz are very easy to manipulate into snapping. Once she locks on and you hear warning sirens, you can actually just move out of the circle in swim mode and avoid her attack entirely. There's even a chance that you can get picked up by her and yet dodge her still. She has a lot of health, and with the amount of times that she surfaces, by the time you splat her with your weapon, you could have gotten her with one sub-weapon. She literally has 1200 HP as per Splatoon 2's data. We don't have any current stats for her Splatoon 3 form, but please, save Ink to one-shot her. Don't give in to the fear. But you might be asking, Lila, why would you want Maz to target you if you don't have enough ink for a bomb? That's easy. If you control where she surfaces, you will have enough time to recover ink to pop a bomb at her. There's a method called bomb rolling that more experienced players use to assist with cutting down in detonation time. Splat bombs typically do not explode until they make contact with a solid object. Whether that is a Rainmaker shield, the tower, or a flat surface, Splat Bombs are easily one of the best sub-weapons in the entire franchise. We are extremely lucky that the sub-weapons do not rotate alongside of main weapons in Grizzco. That's why Maz suddenly becomes so easy to defeat. It's genuinely not a different weapon you should be using, it's just the method that you use to defeat them. Y'all gotta remember, these are programmed bosses. If you practice enough, their behaviors will be easy to change. You can even trigger Maz into surfacing early if you roll a bomb towards her. It's never a good idea to toss a bomb at a flightless mob that travels in the ground. It is always better to roll it. Maz work on persistence and silence. Now in Splatoon 3, they don't really have so much silence anymore with the warning bells. But that doesn't mean that she isn't determined to eat you. You have to be extra careful as she'll chase you up fish stick towers even. At last resort, you can roll a bomb just as you're being eaten, and it'll defeat her at the last second as you're splatted. Just make sure that you bring her closer to the basket, that way your teammates can actually grab her eggs. Even so, the best method of avoiding bosses is practice. If you have buddies to play with, that makes it even more easy. Nicknames are really helpful too, as sometimes the names are a little bit hard to pronounce or are too long to say easily. Just know, you're not the only one getting splatted by Maz. Even I get splatted quite often when I'm surrounded. Make sure to space out on the map, paint your walls, take breaks, and don't get disheartened if you lose your rank. I play Salmon Run mode more than I play anything else, so I have a bit of experience. I used to chill at around 400 professional in Splatoon 2 for most shifts that I played, so I'm very happy to make more guides if you guys would like to see them. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting the like button. If you didn't enjoy it, make sure to dislike it and tell me what I can improve on. If you'd like to continue seeing my videos when I upload, make sure to ring the bell. That's all for now, I will see you in the next video. Bye!